for Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for coming today so we can worship the Lord. You know, this morning as I was praying, God showed me something. And before I just share the word of God, I want to talk about it. About worship. That is the reason he told me to go and lead the worship. When you talk about worship, sometimes a lot of people, they don't know the reason why we come to church. The reason we come to church, it is beyond hearing the word of God. It's, it's beyond that. The word of God should be the end. The reason most of the times we end with the word of God is because of that's where we are building you. But primarily, it is called the house of prayer. And the reason they are calling it the house of prayer, we are bringing our sacrifices to God. That's the reason. When they went to Jerusalem, they went to, the, to Jerusalem for one thing, to sacrifice. Number one, through their prayers, through their, their offerings and sacrifices, and also through the sacrifice of their lips. So when we talk about sacrifice, we are not talking about something that is convenient or comfortable. We do it because it, 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 is, it is the way we worship God and that's the worship he desired. Sometimes when you don't you sing but you don't want to sing, it's not accepted. When you pray but you don't want to pray, it's not accepted. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying it's going to be comfortable. But I'm saying to you, it is something he wants from you. I'm not saying giving is going to be easy. I'm not saying singing sometimes is going to be easy and fun. But it is something when you come, say I'm going to church, you are saying I'm going to sacrifice. Sacrifice means I'm going to offer God what he wants. That's the reason we are in church. Primarily. So, I'm not expecting when you are singing, you are not singing. In other words, you don't know what you are, why you are here. And even though you don't know the song, you can just create your own words and sing. Because we are here for that. We are here to sacrifice. So if we worship God according to our ways, it's not going to work. Read the Bible very well. There's a prescribed order of worship. Many a times the reason people are not calling solutions in their lives is because they're doing the things of God their ways. There's a way. But I'm looking for those who worship me in truth and in spirit. Truth and in spirit. Not worship. He's not looking for worship. But he's looking for those who are going to worship him in truth. There's a way. In the spirit. There's a prescribed order. So that's the reason I'm saying to you. Make sure that when you come here, have this mind, I'm going to sacrifice to God today. You may not have money. You may not have money, but I'm going to sacrifice my praise. I'm going to sacrifice my worship to him. That's the idea. It's a place where we bring our sacrifices to him. When you come on Sunday, that's the idea behind it. I, I hope you understood it, eh? So have that mentality. Don't have the mentality which is like so thing is so far, go to relax and relax. So short and go to nine. Because of you have you don't understand why you're here. Now when true worship comes, because he said he's looking for true worshippers. He blesses. He's looking for true worship. I mean, I mean just imagine you you, you is is very much clear. Uti, I'm looking for true worship. He has been having worship before. He has been having people worshiping him before. But it was not a true worship. That's all these people worship me. They draw near to me. Uti, with their mouth, their lips, but their heart is far from me. That's what he said. So he's been having that ever since. Lip service. But he's looking for sacrifices. Learn to have that mentality, Uti, I'm going to sacrifice to the Lord. I'm going to sacrifice to the Lord. And you see, your life will have a new meaning. Your life will have a new meaning. 
the miracles that are going to be happening in your life is going to be extraordinary. You discover that the church is no more a place where you're going to be laying hands on the people and, and casting devils from them. You discover those things, they go by themselves. Because you've discovered your purpose. Especially the purpose of coming in the house of God. Praise the Lord. So, whatever program that has been given to us, we need to do it accordingly. The prayers in the morning, they are important. The worship time is important. The time of offering are important. Don't just do them anyhow, as Savior was saying to us now. There's a prescribed order. Offerings, they are for a reason. Tithe, they are for a reason. Uh, seed, they are for a reason. First fruits, they are, there's a reason for all of them. And we don't, we don't use them the way we want. Because if you can use them the way you want, then what's the reason he called them first fruits? Why did he call them? Don't say, let me say, I'm a school good knows. Let me tell you something. Even if God knows, he's God. But because he did not use the prescribed order, the blessing is not there. When David came and took the Ark of the Covenant, and when he took his friends, he took his friends and said, bring the Ark of the Covenant, let's go and fetch it, the Ark of the Lord. And they took the Ark and they went. As they left, the Bible says, the ark trembled. And one man called Uzzah tried to hold the ark. So God was angry and he killed him. David was afraid because he, was, he had a good intention. He was happy. He had brought the ark. He was detained before the ark. Then they took the ark to one man. And they left the ark because God killed the man. Then immediately, David was worried. Why Why is God angry? Why is God killing an innocent man? The Bible says he went to the scriptures again and discovered no one is supposed to hold the ark except the priest. So because he did not follow the prescribed order, the prescribed order, in the way, there's an order. I sense the others are running. The difference between us and people who don't believe, the people who don't believe, they do whatever they want, the way they want. They don't see the protocol. We don't do that. There's a prescribed order that we follow for everything. That is the worship to God. I was saying, and so the name the soul. That's where the glory departs. Ikapo, the glory has departed because we are doing the layako. John was soul. So there have been men like that in the scriptures that has been given as an example. Gucci. They have been doing God's things their way. Why God said, please bring your tithe and, 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 and first fruit to the house of the Lord so that the priest may cause the blessing to rest on you. Even if you believe, though the blessing, the children of Israel, they were blessed already. But the blessing must be caused. So he, 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 he created an order. That must be followed so the blessing may rest in you and in your house. Why? It's an order he created. You'll ask him one day in heaven. But it's an order he created. So learn to do the things of God his ways. So we'll be able to bring him the worship, give him the praise, give him the honor that he deserves. Are we together? Are we going to do that? So when you're coming to next week on Sunday, have this mentality, I'm going to sacrifice. Maybe you don't feel like praying, but I'm going to pray. You are tired, but it's a sacrifice. You came and offered something to God. When you leave, you leave with blessings. It's time to worship. You give him the praise. You give him the honor. You give him the worship. As you do that from your heart, Lord, we worship you. I worship you, King of Kings. You are the mind in this place. As you do that, do that, you are living with blessings. It's time to give our offerings. You do it with that reverence. Are we potent? Is this ever saying? You do it with this is my sacrifice to God. This is my praise to God. This is my honor to God. That's the reason we are gathering. Otherwise, we are the house of God ourselves. We are the temple of the Holy Spirit. That is the reason the religious guys and those who are rebels, they'll say, I don't need to go to church. 
Why? They, did not, they don't see any reason. Because they thought God is everywhere. No. He has set up his houses where we go for sacrifice, for praise, for honor, and for, for offerings and whatever we do. That's the reason we are coming to church. Praise the Lord. Says one of one. That is it. That the teaching part, the, pray, the, the, the blessing part, it should be coming after to bless you. You get me? It should come after to, do a, to bless you. To bless you. To bring a blessing to you. The teaching and the, the, the prayer of the priest. But we are the one who do it to God first. We do it to God first. We do it to God. After that, God ministers to us. Like now, I'm ministering to you. God now is ministering to you. So that's the idea. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Can I talk to you today? I'm, now when I'm teaching, I'm bringing the blessing. So also sacrifice your ear and your heart. Don't just lazy around. It's something that you need to tell yourself. I'm telling you, the little that you can get, throw it, put it. Who knows that today, as I'm ministering to you, you are getting your business. Amen. You are getting that contract. Amen. You are getting that. That's how God does things. If you come with the mentality to worship first, when the minister, you find that the blessing is being transmitted to you. Because when I pray in the morning, praying for you, I'm praying for one thing. Lord, give me grace to, to transmit to your people the, the thing that they need. When I, I go to the throne of grace and receive grace and mercy for you. So when I come today, I'm ministering what you need. But the challenge is you are not open. Then you leave, same problem, same trouble. If you are sick, you go back sick. If you are broke, you go back broke. So in other words, it, it has become a tradition to go to church. It's a religious practice. We have, we have, we have, we have missed out on the blessings. There's a second, there's a blessing part, but there's a sacrifice part. Sacrifice more when you come, so you can get more blessings. Hallelujah.